Without people purchasing sex, there would be no trafficking. We just think about that. Like, what are we doing to mitigate the problems relative to buyers? And they need to become the face of this, not just. It's, for a long time, it's been the, the young women and men being trafficked that have been the face. And then, you know, they talk about the trafficker or the pimp, but who's the real reason? We're one of the, the U.S. is one of the biggest purchaser of sex worldwide. Like, why? What's going on in our country? Like, and we don't talk about it. We don't talk about that because rarely, there, there was a study done and Johns were asked, you know, if you knew somebody was trafficked, would that keep you from having sex with them? They said no. The real thing that keeps us from having sex with women is if we know we'll get caught, if we know our name will be blasted, if we know our family's going to find out. So I think that needs to be brought into the forefront and not because I sit in judgment of them because I be believe that they're there because for their own broken reasons and for their own problems and they need help. And, you know, even, even traffickers, if you think about it, they basically come from the same situations that victims and come from too they just chose a different route to live out their pain so to speak what made me so passionate about helping is when i actually began to meet these girls and hear their stories <laughs> and i knew that once i began to hear their stories that there was no way i could turn a blind eye to them and I know everybody we can't all do the same things but I can do what I do because my life the way it is but I think we can all do our little part because our little parts add up to huge because I can't do it without we can't do it at Oak Branch without the help of people in whatever form people want to help the best thing that people can do for survivors is not to look at them as, as victims, not to look at them as different, because that's part of the longing of their heart is to be, have normal life, to be uh, in society, to have a job, to have money, and to spend time with them. Like I've been told by survivors, it's, it's one of the most important aspect of their healing is just people to do normal things with them. Take them to coffee befriend like if you let's say if you went to Hannah's house which is one of them like just be friends and not correct and not preach and not you know think that you're going to fix somebody because you're not it has to be them and it you just have to be there to provide love unconditionally